such a thrilling ride. As we leave Andira, we fly north along the Quarantine River to Oriana. Oh, start to sing very loud if you hear them. Hit the ball, donkey, hit the ball. Cover, drive him and make him ball. Man like Brian Lara. The jungle canopy is beautiful. This very large tree of only pink flowers that sticks out of the canopy is just amazing. Every man Jack was hiding. Crapo lie down like if he dead. Giraffe and kangaroo limping. But Mr. Parrot, the umpire, he said, all your holes some strain. Oriala is located approximately 60 miles up the Quarantine River again. from Skelden. The donkey turned wrong and watched Parrot. He said, Parrot. We approach for a landing next to the Oriala Primary School. A giant anteater crosses under our flight path. Here we are with the school children of Oriala. Welcome to Oriala. <laughs> Let's take a walk through the village. The native people lead very simple lives. Houses in this area are made of tree bark and thatched roofs. And my name is Katanga, and my name is Balgobin, and my name is Yusuza. Here are a few visitors to the thatched roof. A green tree snake. And a fetching heavy banana load. A driving steamer, a flying plane. Bats. And a white tree frog. A walking dentist, a clearing land. A playing cello. Oriala is the only place on earth where you can have your hair done and your teeth cleaned all at the same time. The school children will now sing for us their school song. We depart Oriala along the Quarantine River for Skelden. This is Molson Creek, where the ferry service for the Guyana Suriname crossing is located. Making children are making fridge. 
Our primary objective of this visit is to ride on the most decorative public transport vehicle in Guyana, the Tapir. Ride with us as we sit sideways with some passengers. And my name is Katanga. And my name is Balgobin. Built in Guyana in the late 70s, and my name is this unique vehicle has been converted hundreds of times over, except for its framework. A dancing reggae and soca too. Caribbean man. A singing sparrow and super blue. The interior is splendid. The dashboard is from a 1994 Toyota car. The engine originates from a 1975 Nissan motor car. No radiator cap, no air filter, smooth tires. No problem, he says. He must know. This is Skeldon. This is Guyana. The diverse culture of our people is unique and with our strength of togetherness, will and knowledge, we continue to make significant contributions to this country and the region. Guyana's potential for investment, both local and international, is evident. Guyana is coming back. Leaving Skeldon, we fly over lush landscapes of rice cultivation in the black bush polder farmlands. We enjoy the scenery that stretches far and wide and take views of the mills that process the paddy to give us rice. Rice is the staple diet in this country and one of our main exports. But once you're in the East Burbies region, you cannot miss the vast backlands cultivated with sugarcane, another of Guyana's main exports. We fly over the East Burbies estates of Albion and Rose Hall. This is Guyana, a country blessed with numerous natural resources, a country rich in rice and sugar, and will soon serve again as the breadbasket of the Caribbean.